Hello everyone, I'm Charlotte from Popple Services and welcome to video two in the Undead in Business Guide. Today I'm going to talk about zombies. Zombies, unlike mummies, who were discussed in the first video, have a very complex history. They started their lives as worker drones, really, on the plantations of Haiti. Zombies were created by a boka or dark witch, for want of a better word, who trapped the soul of the recently dead and then put them to work. There are actually case studies of people who apparently have returned from the grave and talk of being forced to work for many, many years. It's fascinating stuff, it really is. Mindless plantation workers is how zombies were presented in the movies until the 1960s, when George Romero's Night of the Living Dead was released. This movie introduced the zombie as we know them, as brain-obsessed automatons. A zombie business owner, however, wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, other than the cannibalism and the smell of rotting flesh, of course, but sometimes you have to overlook these things. Zombies don't handle being in a subordinate role very well, so they're particularly well suited for being the boss. They know their own mind. Zombies are very single minded and they do not give up. They relentlessly follow their desire, which is mostly brains. And if they come up against a brick wall, either metaphorical or real, they push against it for a while before wandering off and chasing their dreams another way. Obviously, being so single minded can have negative aspects, especially if little thought goes into a strategy of achieving this single goal. But being focused and not allowing setbacks to derail us is a great characteristic in business or in life. And this is what the zombie has down to a T. Zombies also love being part of a horde and surround themselves with like minded individuals, which, as we know, we should all be doing if all the business books are to be believed. Zombies, however, have a tendency to surround themselves mostly with people who also like like eating brains, but as a collective, they become a force to be reckoned with. I'd rather be chased by one zombie than 20,000 zombies. And when they are together in a horde, they are more likely to reach their objective, of which eating brains is primarily it. In the workplace, though, being focused and single minded and not allowing setbacks to put you off achieving your goal is quite a good characteristic to have as long as there is a strategy behind it. Whereas last time I mentioned that at certain points in my career I have been a mummy, most of my life I have an element of zombie in my approach to most things. I've been told I'm an all or nothing person, I throw everything I have into a project. Luckily, unlike most zombies, I do try to put in some strategic thought behind it. So what about you? Are you a zombie? Are you single minded, focused and surround yourself with like minded individuals? Or are you sometimes like this and sometimes something else? It's an interesting thought for the day. If you would like some information on how to write the best zombie blog for your business, then go to the link below, which should be in the comments, and sign up to the zombie guide to writing blog posts today. And I look forward to seeing you in a couple of days for the final video, which will be on the sexiest of the undead, the vampires. So I look forward to seeing you then. And in the meantime, don't have nightmares. Bye.